Okay, so when you're ready, just turn to me, open your mouth and go, ah, because it's opened up your throat for me. Thank you. Oh, it's your nostrils. Okay, you're free to go. Take care now. Thank you. Yo. That was a great joke. What was it? The, the bowling alley. Oh joke. yeah, welcome to the bowling alley. Yeah. You can uh, find any size lifter you like and uh, borrow them. So Kevin, before you take those shoes, you have to put your shoes up there. So it's like a bowling area, right? How is the side, like, how does the fit need to be? Is it like, like for, the, for the swing, it need to be tight or is it okay when they're a little bit loose? What you gotta do, as long as you put them on before you pass the line into the bowling alley, then you're fine. What's up team, welcome to today's vlog. Now today, we have got a surprise for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> he is the best weightlifter in all of Munchen Gladbach, Germany, in the age group of 29 to 31 and under the six foot category. And with that, I'm not 100% sure, but it's, maybe it's close, yeah. <laughs> Probably. And I, I think I'm the strongest one in every kindergarten. So today, he's training with us, and he's gonna be here all weekend. <laughs> you wouldn't have guessed it, would you, team? We're doing more pauses today. No baloney, though. No baloney, we're going above me today. Really trying to use those hips. Way above my percentages. <laughs> Quite nice, you get the percentages up to where your actual working weight is. And today's working weight is three sets, two reps, 80%. 97 and a half kilos today. Lovely jubbly. Quite a long F1 pit stop that. Yeah, weightlifting session very bad like, to be honest I didn't sign up for this I told everyone like I'm going for like a three-day holiday in the UK and I'm here first day and we did completely the opposite like I'm done my legs this one and the other one gone ouchie I'm bad I can't I can't walk tomorrow to be fair what we found three weeks in now is Friday is the worst day those speed squats and into the lunges is just brutal the squats do your quads I find the most, like your quads blow up. So then when you come to do the walk and lunges, you have to use your ass more and it's really bad. Yeah, I don't know if you Not can see speed squat. As you can tell by the level of sweat patch today, it's quite a hard session. You know what happens, like every step, it does basically this to you. Bash, bash, bam. And you think like, oh, come on, oh, another one. Like, it feels like pulling cotton wool apart. That's what it feels like on my quads. Benny doesn't even need to say anything. Look at him, he just... Ouchie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose speed squats could mean slow speed. It doesn't specify. They're fast. not They're not speedy. Mm. They're just... I feel that I'm currently the fastest I've ever been. <laughs> Put me on that 100 meters now. <laughs> Put me on that track. Every time you do something hard like this, like I remember the words from my mom, like she's a very wise person, Beate, you know. Uh, she said, like, I don't, you don't have to do, like, ever in your life, you don't have to do something what, what hurts you. And then we do this. And then everyone's like, hey, nice job. And, but, you know, we hurt ourselves. That, that's... Stupid. Life is hard enough. Why, why do we do this? I do this. Trust it's so cool, man. You walk outside of the box like, uh. oh, good, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's true. When we when we hear the track next. Oh. 
track. I don't know if I told you guys too, but when we did the 100 meters with Benny, all we did was a 60 meter flat out sprint and then a 100 meter flat out sprint. And my groin and hamstrings and everything for like two weeks after were just completely wrecked. It was 10 days after the sprint. I didn't complain, no. Only, only to the people closest to me. Surely you can do that now in your program, right? Yeah. Do sprints in your program. Yeah. That was literally like cardio. This isn't an ad, but these are the best donuts in the entire world. We've traveled so very good. far and we've had donuts nearly everywhere mm. in the world. Mm. And these are the best. That's not even an exaggeration. These are by far the tastiest, doughiest. They're, they are the best. Look how beautiful they are as well. They're so beautiful. Donut time, if you would like uh, to sponsor me. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. God. Donuts. That's okay. So then we can train on Fridays this hard. <laughs> if this is the, the benefit of doing hard work, then I'm in. <laughs> That's fine. This look good, this, 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 That's and the so other one. so good. Whatever. Mm. Like every donut is fine. You can just order something, whatever they have. Kevin's just talking to the floor. Yeah, now I just, I'm flirting with the donuts. <laughs> hey, why, you, why do you look at me like this? Oh, <laughs> this is the same intensity with the squats, you know? Like you hit it and it hits you back. <laughs> Oh. oh, amazing. That's just, that's just grooming. Whoa! You look like who, who's this man that's just If we go in. like side by side for beards He's though. got a beard! Just One. Trim, oiled, brushed. Yeah, no. Just cat. Shaved. Craig just gets out of bed. Ian's here to sort out some stuff in the gym and hang out. See Kevin? The best memer and the strongest man in all of Much and Gladbach. <laughs> no, Today, but look at that team! Yeah. I did not expect that when he came around the corner. I went, who's that? Yeah, it looks like good, it. it looks good on you, man. Yeah. Really good. <laughs> Beards don't suit some people, but Ian, whoa, he's just gone from a six to a ten. Wow, right? it's about time six I got good at something. Now I know what my calling was in life: yeah. beard growing. There is a competition for that. We saw that in America. It covers up for the lost bits of hair that are underneath my toupee. You see, yeah. make up for a good beard. Yeah. Right, the entertainment's turned up. <laughs> the entertainment's. <laughs> yeah, he promised some magic tricks. <laughs> You, got, you had no, two clients this morning with PT and they had you you on the t-shirt. It wasn't this morning, it was yesterday, but yeah, I mean, they rolled up with these sort of these sky blue t-shirts. I forgot what it said on the front. What did it say? Something to the Jeff. And then they went, oh, like that. Don't quit. So it's really amazing. Yeah, made my day. Those little things, you know. Clients are great, aren't they? When you have them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, another one. Carl Paul has yeah. joined us. What did you do again? Oh, oh, no. No. Sorry, sorry oh, to let you down. <laughs> for the lonely nights for Carla. So, James, no, it was not me, it was James. Made a little present. So, that's James. It's It looks like it's David Hasselhoff, but it's not. It's James on the beach. Like, he, he played in Baywatch before. For people that don't know, that's Kevin's dog. Yeah. Photoshopped well, onto David Hasselhoff's body. For Carla's lonely nights. Yeah. yeah. We need to get Jeff a girlfriend because in 10 years time it'll be our responsibility otherwise. Yeah. We need Remember. to find him someone to look after him. <laughs> so we're hiring. We need to find him. <laughs> so we are. We're hiring. <laughs> like age doesn't matter from like 18 to 100 years old. If you are, it, you don't have to be sexy, you just have to be cool. <laughs> If you're, like, if you're still alive and you're, you're a cool breathing. person you're and you're interested alive. in this beautiful man who, who, look, who looks like Bruce, Bruce Willis, like, oh, amazing. If I would be a, a woman. <laughs> <laughs> we were just saying that this is how we get used, Jeff used to being in an OAP home. We just sit around, we've got the water fountain going and... <laughs> Not long now, Dad. Hold, hold it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Some dips. Dips. Dips for days. Venture dips. 2159 bodyweight dips, obviously, and uh, bodyweight bench press. Great. Ian today was dropping off the dip attachment that we can use on the rig. Bodybuilding. What's your tail doing? What's that tail doing? Hairline looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like. Real smooth, that. Yeah, real smooth. Yeah. He said, How sexy you want to look? I said, <laughs> Maximum sexy. <laughs> That's what he did. Maximum. Right, what storage do you need? We've got a bench. Update on today's situation so far is that Ian has just left. My dad has taken it all upon himself to make the bench. With no instructions, he just 
the first thing you did was you, you sat down over there when he started building the bench. But also we've figured out today that a fact that may blow your mind is that Pokemon around the world apparently don't have the same names. So obviously in England we have Charizard, which everyone knows. Like it's the most common, like everyone loves Charizard, but in Germany it's called Glurak. It's not too bad, isn't it? <laughs> Glurak. Like Jigglypuff, right? Jigglypuff, the little pink one. Pomeloff. Yeah, it's Pomeloff is fine. Like it, it, it suits the Pokemon. It's fine. What about like Bul Bul Bulbasaur? What is Bulbasaur? The like little the big blue one? No, the little. <laughs> you know, when you start, you can get Charmander Shiggy. or Shiggy. Shiggy. <laughs> Shiggy. The little one with the vine the whips. One. Yeah. No, 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 the no. grass one. The oh, grass, the grass one. one. Um, Bizazam. <laughs> yeah, it's Is he having a son? He's taking Bizazam. the best. He's having a son, isn't he? Yeah. It doesn't sound too bad. Like, I think Bizazam, Glumanda, Bizazam, and Shiggy. But Shiggy is the most fun one. And you know the one with the, with the sunglasses, the Shiggy gang. So good. Another update. Now Dan has the camera. F1. And we are... Welcome to Jeff TV. Jeff TV. <laughs> <laughs> Featuring That's Craig and Kevin. <laughs> yeah. Build a bench. <laughs> We're bettering our lives and making something. Yeah. <laughs> was it recording or did I press it off and on? <laughs> Maybe I turned it off when it was supposed to be on and on when it was supposed to be off. Tonight we have a Concept 2 class here. We've got obviously the masters involved. Three pairs, 10 minute AMRAP on each one. Swap every 20 cows. Swap every 15 for the females. Do it a minute,